beautiful view. Mm. Got a little jacuzzi on the balcony. What? Welcome to our suite. <laughs> We're doing an MTV crib style. <laughs> it's our anniversary, y'all, so we are celebrating. We just got to our hotel room. This is our room. Yes. Ty, you tell him. Well, here you have the bar. Uh, you can see a lot of friends. That we didn't bring. That we didn't bring by ourselves. Uh, Big screen TV. Living room area. Now we're going to take you back where all the magic happens. Hey, hey, hey. So that's from there. A couple of sitting areas. Uh-huh. Here's the bathroom. Here's the bedroom. Ooh. Ooh. What's going to go down there? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's take a walk real quick. This is the shower overlooking the view. But when you go through the shower, mm -hmm. take it to the jacuzzi, man. Take it to the jacuzzi. Bam. Jacuzzi overlooks Jacuzzi overlooks the water. This is real sexy right here. Real sexy. It's real nice sexy. Look. I like it. I like it already. Look, this is gorgeous. Would you like the towels pool. on your neck better? I like it. It's so dope. An orange tree. Is cool. that a real orange tree? I don't know, but it looks <laughs> like it was real. This is dope. This is an amazing view. Uh, the sun setting. It's gorgeous. Having an amazing time. We decided to have dinner while the sun is setting over the ocean. And it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous bay. It's gorgeous. Yeah. Happy anniversary, Todd. What's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News with all of the drama going on with the Real Housewives of Atlanta and just the whole toxic situation going on with that franchise. You know, I'm just happy to see Kenny and her husband <laughs> out on vacation and celebrating four years of marriage. That last video, though, I mean, the sunset on the beach, it, they're just living it up okay so congratulations to candy and todd i'm just so proud of them against all the odds and they're still going strong candy posted you know her facebook <laughs> update and uh her caption was on this day four years ago i changed my relationship status on facebook laughing emoji it's funny how you can go back through important moments of your life just by scrolling through social media. She talked to her husband, Todd, and I had the odds against us. Exactly what I just said, but we are four years in and going strong. In the words of the great Neo, love him. I'm a movement by myself, but I'm a force when we're together. I'm good all by myself, but baby, you, you make me better. You make me better. Yep, my song. Those lyrics describe exactly how I feel about you, Todd Tucker. I love you. Happy anniversary, 4414. Of course, it's all perfect because Neo wife, Krista Smith, who I just adore, and will be posting the video tomorrow about her whole relationship with her husband and some drama, um, responded, happy anniversary, beautiful. So that's great that Crystal is in the comments and all of that. I'm going to go ahead and go to Todd's page. And he posted next to this car, heading out with the wife. So he tagged her to celebrate our wedding anniversary. I said, um, when I took this screenshot, it had the numbers uh, 444. So, yeah, it's all about the fours with these two. But anyways, congratulations to Candy and Todd. I'm so proud of them. Candy posted this image right here of them in the pool together overlooking the sea. Um, well, she posted these images, I should say, these beautiful images, and she captioned it, day one of our anniversary vacay, and it's starting off right. She tagged her husband, Mr. and Mrs. Tucker, four years strong. So, Candy looked beautiful. Um, congratulations to these two. I'm so proud of them.
do you always in your life do you follow your gut and do you yes listen to other people your vices and all of that but at the end of the day you are the one who have to live with that person be with that person you are the one who get to be in their presence experience them and all of that so always follow your gut don't listen to what people have to say like i said yes sometimes your friends and your family might see things that you don't see so yes of course listen to what they have to say but at the end of the day it's all up to you always follow your heart Kenny saw potential in Todd. Todd might not have been making money on her level, but he had a great job. He still does. He's a producer. He was a producer on the show and that's how they met. Okay, now I also have to throw this part in before y'all come for me. I'm aware that Phaedra was also a part of Candy and Todd getting together. She encouraged Candy to give him a chance and all of that. So, happy now? <laughs> like I said in the review, if you don't say things out of your mouth, literally, people are gonna come for you. Whew. Okay, let's continue. You know what I'm saying? So he was doing a great job and a big job to have cross path with Candy. That's how they met. And she saw potential in him and she did not listen to, you know what I'm saying? And the thing is too, you can have all of the money and, and, and still be treated like crap. You, you understand? So as long as you find someone who love you, respects you, or adore you, and have potential to do big things with you, that's all that matters. He's not lazy. He's not just, I'm gonna cross my leg and sit at home and be the kept man. He's out there renovating a restaurant. He's, when I went with Rachel Lindsay, the first African-American bachelorette to the old lady gang restaurant, Todd was there. Candy was on escape tour. You know, he was having a meeting with their new manager and I did not want to just go up there and interrupt the meeting. So I didn't get a picture with him, but he was there, you know, running things and all of that. So, and he helped with countless of other other businesses and he also was the co-executive -exec producer with Carlos on the Hollywood Divas Divas and all of that. I don't know when they're going to have a new season but but congratulations to them. I mean even up to recently Candy Mom after everything they've been through still have the nerve to sit with Portia who did whatever she did to her daughter and made the comment that Candy turn lemon into lemonade basically thing he's done and proving that listen man i love your daughter that's it you know so my thing is just love and be happy and you know whatever else that follow follows i'm going to talk about kenya Moore real quick and then i'm going to end it when kenya Moore met the ex yeah when she met her ex her gut feeling told her not only because he was too young but this ain't it, Kenya. But there goes social media and everybody. That's why you're single. That's why you don't have a husband. That's why you're gonna lose out on a great guy because you're judging his pockets. Just because he don't have money, you you know, you, you're turning your nose upside down on him. You guys can build an empire together, can build gyms and do fitness videos together. He's into fitness. You guys can do all of look, look at Candy. You know, Candy is building wealth with Todd, and there you go. Don't want to date this guy because you, you don't think he have money. Those were the comments all over Kenya page. Kenya, he's legal. You know, he might be young, but he's legal. Go for your girl. But she goes and she gave the guy a chance. This is about relationship now. This is a Kenny and Todd video, but I'm gonna use this moment for us to just chat. Relationship chat. Okay, so she goes and gave the guy a chance, right? Her gut feeling is right. He's too immature. He starts doing crazy things oh kenya well before he started doing the crazy things you know what it was lock that down kenya get a ring girl marry him get pregnant these are the things people were rushing kenya to do because they just felt like she was so desperate but if you if there's some type of common sense there you will see that someone who waits until the, the, the late 40s to get married is not desperate if she was desperate, she would have gotten married years ago, have babies, and be, been divorced probably two or three times by now. But she refused to settle. I'm not going to ever settle just to say, I have a man or I have a husband. All of the people who settled, where are they now? 
divorce. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not, whether Kenya more marriage lasts forever, I'll keep praying for them, but she did not want to settle. So she didn't listen to all of those forces rushing her. And she was right because look at what he did. Okay. I don't have to go down the list of the things that he did, you know, breaking her windows and all of that. Now, has she waited all of these years, rushed into my marriage, have a child just to prove to the naysayers that I can get and keep a man and have a child. Now what? Now, even after Kenya listened to everybody putting their mouth in her business, when the man started acting out and she was right, those same people who cursed her out for not wanting to give him a chance because of his financial status, those same people who cursed her out for not getting married and having his kids were the same people back in her comments saying, oh my God, Kenya Moore is so desperate that she went ahead and settled for this dude right here. You also what I'm saying? So my point is, it will never be enough. So never live your life for people. Never seek validation from people. Always follow your gut and do what works for you and what's best for you. Candy did that and she's happily married and I'm so happy for her and Todd. Four years strong. Congratulations to a lifetime together. And Kenya did not listen and she's happily married to a very handsome, successful husband. And I'm wishing them nothing but the best. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here, my Vina loves. I'm so proud of myself. I did a short video. <laughs> Thank you to all of my recent subscribers and those who's been here rocking with me. Thank you all for the love and support. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Turn on notifications so when I post, you're aware that I posted. Thank you all for the love and support. I appreciate every single one of you. And I'm wishing you all an amazing day. And remember to always have the God bless attitude, which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation. Have a great day, guys. God bless.